second horse to retain a Breeders' Cup title. Let's see if she can do it and head back to Keeneland. Against the boys. Mm -hmm. She subsequently was beaten as a big favorite in a seven furlong race. Now, last time she won at this distance, but against a very easy field. My concern is when they go really fast early and it's a contentious seven furlong race, she may not see out the entire seven. Loading, so a quick word on six from Japan. There were two Japanese winners last year at Breeders' Cup. We thought the floodgates would open. They haven't. Just the sole representative, they cited increased travel costs to Kentucky and also the weakness of the yen against the dollar. Hopefully they'll be back in force next year, but we've learned on the global stage this year, do not ignore them. They say it's a $200,000 round trip Ooh. now. Ooh, that's Japan a pretty penny. Here. She is one way, though, because she's going to stay here in the U.S. and start her career in a Kentucky farm as a broodmare. So that's, that's the reason why they can sort of... Uh, offset some of those costs. So remember the name, Chain of Love. William Buick had a great day yesterday taking home a Breeders' Cup race. And she comes from way back, way back. Don't be surprised if she's way back with obligatory in the first part of the race. So as we wait for the final horses to load into the starting gate, who gets the lead? Slapped. You think so, to from the, the inside. inside post? Oh yeah, yeah, I think so too. And uh, hey, she's 17 to one. She is as tough as nails. And we know she likes this course, this track. And the ownership group thought enough of, enough of her that they spent $200,000 to nominate yes. her and actually run in this race. They said, well, she's earned about that much this year. Slammed into this race at 15 to 1 after paying $200,000. We'll see if she gets that money back. Looks like the sixth, the Japanese runner, Chain of Love, waiting to move into line underneath William Buick. They pulled an upset before, as we heard, a massive one in the Breeders' Cup distap just last year. With one left to load, we hand it off to the voice of the Breeders' Cup, Larry Colmus. And it's a Breeders' Cup winner that goes in last in Echo Zulu. They're all in line. They're off in the Philly and Mayor Sprint. Good night, Olive. The favorite had a very good start. Echo Zulu on the outside. Here comes Slammed and Edgeway from the rail with their early speed. Lady Rocket is right up in the mix as well. And then it's back to Wicked Halo. CC, a Breeders' Cup winner, and a defending champion is seven lengths off the lead down on the inside as they continue their journey up the backstretch. Right alongside of her is Frank's Rocket. Break of another two and a half to Japan's Chain of Love. Then Sterling Silver, late runners obligatory, and Chai Town Lady. 22.1 was the opening quarter mile and slammed to the pride of New Mexico has taken the lead as they move into the far turn. Edgeway is going right with her and these two are just a neck apart. Lady Rocket is third. Echo Zulu perched outside of them running in fourth. Wicked Halo is fifth. Good night Halo. Right, good Good night, Olive is right there in between horses as they make their way around the far turn. And now she's going to swing to the outside. And CeCe is coming too. She's coming five wide at the top of the stretch. And here comes Echo Zulu on the outside. Good night, Olive, though. Good night, Olive takes off. She's got the lead as they come into the final furlong. Good night, Olive by two with a furlong to run. Opening up by two and a half. And then it's Echo Zulu followed to the outside by CeCe and Wicked Halo. Good night, Olive! Six in a row, and a Breeders' Cup champion! Echo Zulu was second, Wicked Halo was third, then came CC. Good night, Olive says good night to the rest of the field, and she becomes a Breeders' Cup champion. A scorching performance. Seven furlongs in 121 and three. Very formful, Chad Brown accepting congratulations there. Good night, Olive has been running exactly like this in all of her recent races. That's why she was the favorite here. A very, very strong performance. It's a great way to start the day. A formful result, very smart.